Morning everybody. We've got a fun episode for you today. You remember Katie and Zoe went into the life raft for 48 hours. Now it's the boys turn. We're gonna go to the island here with no food and no water for 24 hours with a machete, a magnifying glass and a torch. And we're gonna have two dogs to deal with as well. You ready? <laughs> no, I'm ready again. It's not that bad, it's actually paradise. Let's just go over there and get into it. Let's go! So I'm Colin, and this is the crew of Parley Revival. From hurricane damaged, to broken bulkheads, and getting struck by lightning not once, but twice, to being the strongest and fastest Lagoon 450 on the planet. We are now sailing 5,000 miles from Mexico to New Zealand, my home, before continuing our circumnavigation. So subscribe to follow our journey around this beautiful planet. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Instead of uh, taking a blanket, <laughs> taking a bottle of rum to keep us warm. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Best Good day on Parlay ever. Just the girl. Yeah, the girls. Woo! Get to the beach. Look at that water. Wow. This is a beautiful spot. Bye. Oh, Linda. Really? All right, here we are. What an incredibly stunning island. But we're here for 24 hours. We have no food, no water. So obviously the first thing we're gonna need is some water. Yeah, and we only have the um, magnifying glass for a fire, so we probably have to light that early. When yeah. the sun's up, and probably have to keep the fire going all day, all night. If we're gonna eat anything, maybe there's a crab, maybe there's lobsters, I don't know. We don't know anything about this place, so. Let's see what we got. Let's go for a walk and explore. You can tell this is uninhabited because there's coconuts everywhere. I look at these coconuts now as money. After hanging out with Herve and Aratika, every bag of copra is $40. So there's a thousand dollars worth of copra on this island and no one's touched it. Yeah, we don't know what the bug situation is going to be like. Oh, green coconut. This one fell out. This is what we're looking for. Yes! It's super hot though. Oh, jackpot. Look at this one, it's not even that tall and there's some sweet coconuts on it. Oh, I could stand on your shoulders. Yeah. Could I? Yeah. <laughs> oh. okay? Yeah. I can't reach. <laughs> That's not easy. Let's put some, my hand in some fire ants or something. That is not easy. Oh shit. We're in trouble here. Oh. Whoa. That's what we're looking Jackpot. for. Jackpot. And there's good meat. Oh, holy crap. It's honestly delicious. Oh. You guys can't feel it, but it is scorching hot here as well. So, let me just see. This is a welcome bit of ref uh, hydration. Don't know if you guys can see this, but my arm is all welting up from all those fire ants that bit me. I put my hand up there, and uh, my arm is just on fire. It's swollen up now. Look at the difference in my two arms. This is getting a bit out of control. Those ants did not like me up there. Look at the difference in my wrists. Not off to a good start. We've only been here half an hour. <laughs> it's crazy. Hope I'm not allergic or something. Get 
you good? All right, the dogs are sorted. Now let's make fire with a magnifying glass. So we need, oh, this stuff catches fire the easiest. Just pull it off the, uh, the top of the coconut tree. Come on. Got it. Got it. We have fire, baby. <laughs> Took a long time. We stopped filming, but we eventually got it. At the start, there was too much wind. My arm is seriously swollen. Okay, now we just got to try to keep this fire going for as long as possible. Another thing we got to watch, guys, is not to park up under any coconut trees. Coconuts kill a lot of people by sitting underneath and uh, landing on their head. So definitely got to watch out for that. But we've got a nice clear spot here. My whole face is gone numb and my, my lips are like swol swollen. <laughs> anyway, the show must go on. Let's see if we can get, uh, make a couple of bowls out of this guy. Look at that though, two beautiful bowls. Oh, this one's got a hole in it. That, a good looking bowl right there, Lindo. <laughs> Lindo, get back. Yeah, yeah, baby. Good boy, right? I don't know if you can see this, but my face is out of control. My chin feels like a freaking golf ball. My forehead's all welted up. Top lip, like where my moustache is, is hard. My body's just fully reacted to those ants. And it's all over my body is this rash, and it's welting up. And it's, if it's not sore, it's itchy. What are the odds? Ridiculous, that happened in the first half hour. It's even starting to be hard to open my eyes, and my air canals are closing up. I'm having some sort of serious reaction to it. I wonder what's happening. I think we've found our spot to camp for the night. Got these overhanging trees. We can build it up with some um, palms and sleep underneath there. This is super soft sand. So we've got a little bit of shouting, we'll just lean some, uh, lean some of these palms up against it. Like that. Just build up around this, these trees here. Two beds. Nice shade from the wind in this direction. We're not lying directly on the sand. Man, it's legit. Hey buddy, you like it up in here? Oh, you like it up in here? The boys love it. Okay, this is us tonight, boys. Can't feel any wind. If it rains, only our legs will get wet. Too good. Oh, hang on, there's some right here. <laughs> here we go. Promising. I think this is gonna be legit. Oh, no. get another couple for the rums. <laughs> oh, look at that. Delicious. There's so much water in there. Here you go, boys. Here you go. Good boy. Just get your spoon. Just scrape it up. It's nice and soft and jelly-like. Slurp it up. I'm not the biggest coconut fan, I won't lie, but when you don't have anything, the coconut water that we just had then, I was a little bit dry and it was beautiful. Take that, find some crabs and put them in there. But look at this sunset. Unreal. 
So we made a plan that we would go hunting for crabs that night. But first, a little sundowner. Cheers, guys. Look at that. That'll make us find the crabs quicker. Oh, that is strong. Woo! Keep us warm anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you gotta pin him! Linda, don't eat that! Hold him there. Oh, he's got your fucking... Oh, shit. Okay. Ah! <laughs> got me under him! <laughs> so we're just gonna throw them on the coals. I've seen it done like with mud crabs and that in Australia. So we're just gonna do that to two of them and see how it comes out. Just, we don't wanna go taking a lot of them and then we don't like it, so... Crab time, baby! <laughs> So we just threw them on the fire. Um, we'll probably go five minutes each side and then we'll crack open one of those big claws there and see what it tastes like. All right, let's try the little guy. Let him cool down. Ooh. There's definitely not much meat in them. No, that's actually really, really good. Here, <laughs> try that. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> that took five minutes to cook and the flavor I, I'm not even a big seafood guy and the flavor is really good all right we're back out here looking for some uh, some bigger ones those small ones are uh, barely any meat on them but the big one the claw was delicious hang on here we go that's a big dog oh my stood on one holy crap they're everywhere Oh, I think this might be the biggest one we've seen. Look at that guy. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! It's getting a bit sketchy just to walk around. Just got another one. There's a decent sized claw on him there. There's a lot of meat. But um, the legs and stuff are just so skinny. Oh. Classy, look at that. Fancy! You go, man. It's got a nice sweet flavor. So just a little update on the old ant attack. I'm in pretty excruciating pain, to be honest. It, it was itchy. Now it's sore. Um, look at the difference in my hands. It's all just swollen. And I don't remember any ants biting here, but my hand is just a big puff ball. Not sure how much sleep I'll be getting. Holy shit. So, <laughs> we just went to get into bed and we've got one of the big crabs in our oh bed. Oh my god. Look at its hairy ass legs. What are you doing, buddy? Fight, let him. Good boy. Try to get a few hours of sleep. It's probably 10.30, 11 o'clock at night. And no rain yet. Night, guys. Linda just threw up right next to me. Guess he had a few too many coconuts today. Then ran away. But I'm absolutely freezing. Jamie's sitting by the fire trying to warm up. It is so cold right now. It's like 20 knots out there. There's no wind in here, but it's just cold, man. Don't know how to warm up. It sucks. The moon's coming up, must be like two or two, three o'clock. Oh. All right, let's build the fire up, eh? It's the only way. Morning. <laughs> oh. Where do you come from? We got a few wind holes in it last night, eh? We just got the fire roaring again just to try to warm up. How'd you sleep? Not good. Probably got about two hours. It's freezing. I was in here and then I ended up going and stoking the fire back up and sleeping out there. Can you imagine being somewhere actually cold? Oh. And you'd just be awake all night sitting by that fire. Yeah, freezing. Since it was blowing 20 knots of wind, all the ash would just go all over you. It's 
crazy how thankful I was for my t-shirt. I just grabbed a t-shirt on my way off the boat. Wasn't even gonna bring one. And just to have that so I could tuck my arms into my t-shirt and just shivering all night it was absolutely horrible. This is French Polynesia. Imagine, you know, even a New Zealand winter. The pain and the swelling in my arms gone down a lot. So pretty happy about that still feels really tight in my whole forearm but now oh, my hand's still swollen and also the shelter stayed up last night so pretty happy about that and oh guys it didn't rain if it had rained last night it would have been a whole different story it was spitting for a while my legs were getting wet i don't know how we got lucky there it's been raining every single night what a beautiful morning and the wind is gently ringing bell that brings the morning, the welcome of the dawn. So we were pretty bored of eating normal coconuts, so the next morning we tried to roast a coconut, which I had heard was pretty tasty. Oh wow, honestly. Tastes totally different. Yeah. How Probably not as juicy warmed up, but it's quite nice warm, especially after a cold night. It's, it's got a totally different flavor. Mm -hmm. It honestly tastes like popcorn. We did it, 24 hours on a deserted island. Lots of coconuts, a few crabs, a few mishaps. <laughs> Attacked by an ant nest, uh, bitten by a crab, but it was a good experience. Um, Cold experience. You'd be totally fine if you ended up abandoned on this island here. You got so many coconuts and crabs to survive. As long as you had fire, you'd be fine. Here come the girls. It's time. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you find hey, yeah, there's some in the bloody hut with us. <laughs> They're everywhere. So it was a fun little challenge, but the fire ants and being so cold at night was a pretty horrible experience. If we were to do it again, I'd build a better shelter from the wind so that I didn't have to contemplate spooning Jamie for warmth. Anyway, hope you had a little laugh at our expense, and we'll see you next Sunday. <laughs>